associate of the associate at the association of associates here. <laughs> Will's in charge of the video. So uh, anyway, USA Today is really ticked at the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves make unfortunate anti-vaccine statement with Travis Tritt as NLCS national anthem singer. I don't know what he said that's anti-vaccine. He is against discriminating against people who, uh, yes, he wasn't going to perform in any venue that was going to discriminate against people who do not have the vaccine. That doesn't make him anti-vaccine. It makes him pro-science. Because, folks, if you're vaccinated, what the hell do you care whether the next guy is? I, 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 nobody has ever answered that. No one. And what about the, the millions who had COVID, like me, and who have something better, better, B-E-T-T-E-R, than a vaccine? Natural immunity. We have to get vaccinated too? And we have to wear masks too? And you're telling me that's science? Well, at USA Today, that's what science goes for. USA Today is another left-wing rag sheet. But it's good to know that the Braves chose this guy to sing the national anthem. That and the uh, MLB stealing the All-Star game from Atlanta give you more reasons uh, to, uh, if you're not from Houston, and if you are from Houston, I totally get it. And normally I would be rooting for a Texas team, but I explained earlier my anger at the Major League Baseball for robbing Atlanta of the All-Star game. And I don't know if any other teams in the uh, major in Major League Baseball protested against that. We fight here on the show. Everywhere I go, lecture constantly around the country. People tell me that I give them strength. That is great. I'm happy to hear that. I want to. Because the only question is not whether you are optimistic or pessimistic. The only question is, will you fight? That's it. The left is destroying this country, the best country ever created. They are, they are a demonic force. And uh, you know it. There's no other explanation for why people who have grown up with liberty hate liberty. There is no explanation that is rational, except the demonic. And I don't mean that literally, but figuratively, I don't know of any other explanation.